Hi, in this video we're going to talk about listing components and listing pages. Because you can do them in so many different ways within JSS and Sitecore, I've decided to create a sub-series within our Learning JSS series to specifically talk about listing components and listing pages. We're going to look at three different ways of creating listing components and pages, and we're going to see the pros and cons for each one of them. So let's get started. So when we talk about listing pages and listing components, what we really mean is something like a sidebar menu, which shows a list of links ultimately, or something as a complete page, like a listing page that might have search, filter, and listing, maybe with load more, like we see here. So there are three ways that I've figured out that we can use to create listing pages in Sitecore. These are something like basic listing, SXA search based listing, and GraphQL. So the first one is basic listing, and this is really utilizing the out-of-the-box content resolvers. So Sitecore has content resolvers that by default read either the data source or context, but you can also use one of the other two to read the children of the data source or the children of the context. So for example, I can use the data source item children resolver to read the children of the current data source that's selected on this component, or I can use the context item child, uh, children resolver to actually read the children of the context item. So for example, if I have a listing page, an article listing page, and I want to read all the sub items because these are my articles, I probably use the context item children resolver. Whereas if I want maybe to show the featured news and I want a data source item, I might use something like the data source item children resolver. We we'll also see how to configure a custom content resolver by configuring a specific query and using the base class for the uh, content resolver that Sitecore uses. The second way that I came to realize is actually creating a custom content resolver implementation. And when I thought about that, the first thing that came into my mind is something like the SXA page list, which is ultimately a component in SXA that enables you to view a set of pages or show a listing of a set of pages based on a predefined query. And this query can either be an actual Sitecore query or a search-based query or based on the current page and different options for it. So I thought that maybe utilizing this as a custom implementation is a great scenario to see how to create custom content resolver implementations. Now you have to realize that the basic listing or the custom content resolvers that come out of the box, they only support queries. They do not support uh, search-based queries as well, like the plus template something or all these different queries. And they do not support sorting. So with this type, which is the custom content resolver, you're only good if you're just creating a list, maybe with a maximum number, like say, I want the top five. And top meaning the first five in the list, rather than with a specific sort order. Whereas when you go to SXA search based listing, the one we're going to see how to implement, you can actually do something like sorting and ordering, and you can have more flexibility because you're actually hitting the search architecture rather than uh, the query architecture. And finally, the most flexible one of all is the GraphQL. And this is actually using the GraphQL engine, you're able to create listing pages that might have search, they might have filters, that might have other capabilities that provide a more meaningful context for the whole page rather than for a single component. In the next videos, we're gonna look at how to create each and every one of these. So stay tuned for the next videos.